What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I hope you so far have been having a great holiday season. Um, you guys lately have really been enjoying all of the off-roading content we've been doing with the Nissan. And today it's gonna be a little bit different. I really don't have a ride planned this week to give you guys, that'll be coming next week. I got one planned with a Toyota Tacoma, which is um, similarly built than the, the Nissan here. So that should be a really good video for you guys. And then, later down the road maybe in january possibly a forerunner and a gladiator for you guys so that should be really interesting too um anyway today we got a couple things we need to do on the nissan there's a couple things we need to fix and i'm getting ready for a trip up to blue ridge um next weekend that we're gonna need the truck for it's gonna be super cold and i've got some new camping gear coming for the truck that will require us to do some pretty big modifications so uh let's go over there and talk about that First, as you can see, I went ahead and gave her a wash. Uh, she was very dirty from all that off-roading. And as you can see, I did a really good job. Jesus. Anyway, <laughs> from a distance, you can't tell the difference, right? Looks good. So we did that earlier. Uh, the main thing I want to talk to you guys about is the rooftop tent and the rack. Now, I've had this rack on there and the tent on there for a long time, but to be honest, I'm not just that crazy about the rooftop tent. And not just this one in particular, it's any rooftop tent. Uh, I think they have their place, but for me personally, I think I'm going to prefer a ground tent, which I can't say 100% certainty because I haven't done it yet, but I do have a nice Gazelle uh, T4 that's going to be here tomorrow, and I'm going to set that up when we go up to Georgia. I probably won't use the rooftop tent, so, and the main thing is, the main reason why is there ain't nowhere to, I mean, there ain't nowhere to sit down, right, for if you go and change your clothes, or if you don't want to be outside and it's raining, but you don't want to sit in the tent doing nothing um i like to have a little bit more room and a little bit more i don't know area to be in i don't know but anyway i'm gonna give it a shot and um so the rooftop tent might be coming off uh i will know that more when i get the tent tomorrow the new gazelle tent and i set it up if i see that everything's fine nothing's broke on it i'll be taking this off and um might even be taking the rack off which brings us to our next uh question and think i need your input on and that is, what do I do with these lights? So these are last, for those of you who don't know or new to the channel, these are last fit uh, rock lights. And I have them riveted and mounted up on the billy bars. If I take the rack or the rooftop tent off, and I'll probably take the rack off too, because I won't, you know, need it for anything. Uh, what do I do with these lights? I'm thinking about just getting some magnets and like super gluing the magnets to the back of the lights and then putting the magnets right here on the truck bed. Um, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not sure what I wanna do with them. Um, they work great and I love them, but if I don't have the rack here, how am I gonna mount these? You Know what I mean? So uh, leave me some options down in the comments. Where should I put these lights at? Or should I just remove them entirely and just put them somewhere else or maybe put them back under the truck like it's designed to do? Um, I just like having them here and they're good at night when you go camping to have everything lit up, but I don't know. You guys let me know. Next up, if you, we get rid of the rack and the rooftop tent, that means we can put a cover on there, which I've had been sitting on my front porch for about six months. I got this awning cover, this truck bed cover sent to me, I don't know, six months ago. And the company that it came from was supposed to send me a roll up one because... I got the rack on the truck, right? So this is a fold-up one, so I couldn't use it. Um, well, they never told me what they want to do with it, um, and they wanted me to pay for shipping to send it back, and I wasn't going to do that because that's kind of dumb, right? I didn't send this to me. You did. So anyway, it's been sitting here ever since. I don't know what to do with it. Um, so if we do take off the rack and we do take off the rooftop tent, I'm going to put this on and make do with it, I think. But... Um, it looks really nice. <laughs> like, I wish I could have used that. I wish they sent me the roll-up one, but what are you going to do? So, anyway, there's that. And then there are two things inside the truck that we need to fix for the trip. Good Lord, I think it's time we pressure wash the house. <laughs> it's not supposed to look like that. All right, so, another thing that we need to fix is uh, our bullet point mounting system this back screw came loose which isn't any fault of a uh, bullet point uh i'm just retarded and didn't put it in right 
didn't tighten that one down all the way. So I need to take this off. I've been putting off doing it because it's not really a pain, but you just got to take out these screws. There's like two, four, there's six screws. You just got to take these out. This whole uh, plate comes off and you can get to the bottom of uh, these screws here that have nuts on the back and just tighten them down. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Ugh. This is not the screwdriver that comes with this kit. I saved it because I really liked it, but uh, I saved it somewhere. I don't know where I did with it. So this one, I'm pretty sure is the one you use for like eyeglasses, <laughs> but uh, it works pretty well. Jeez. So, it's just these tiny little nuts to go on the back. Uh, I definitely lost a screw somewhere, so that sucks, but I'll tighten these down. It'll be fine, and then uh, we'll put it back up here. For those of you who didn't see the video when I installed this, there's that bracket, and this just mounts like flush up there to it. So, really easy to install, and they're really sturdy when you do them right. There we go. Much better. All set. Uh, it's funny how much better it works when you do it right and you actually tighten these down really good. Anyway, if you guys don't have one of these, you should get you one. Um, if you need a, if you don't use this cubby for one or two, if you need somewhere to put your phone, your tablet when you're off road, whatever, they have a bunch of different mounts, including a, a GoPro mount and I think some other stuff, but, um, really happy with it. No complaints. So the next thing is this remote that I have for the ditch lights, right? Let's see if they still work. I don't know, sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. Um, pretty annoying, but it was 50 bucks from AutoZone. So let's see. I don't know. Actually, now that I think about it, I wonder if it's not working because the truck isn't on. Um, watch, I bet, I bet if we hit the button, let's see, come on, come on, where are you at? Now let's see. Bitch, it's not working. Nope. There we go. See, it's not coming off. There. Let's try it one more time. I don't know. It's a little finicky, but either way, I need to put somewhere, this thing somewhere. And the reason why I don't have it mounted up top, which is why I give you that clip on there, is because look at the lip on this thing. It's huge, and it prevents the uh, visor from going all the way up. So I think what I'm going to do is take this clip off, and I'm probably going to set it. I'm probably going to take the clip off and, like, set it right here. Maybe, like, Velcro it or double-sided tape, some 3M tape, and just put it right there. Um, I really don't know where else to put it. Let me turn this off. My truck dies. Yeah, I really don't know where else to put it. Uh, I can't really mount it anywhere else where it won't get in the way. Uh, that's dumb. I feel like I would hit it right there. Can't really put it down here. Well, I guess maybe you could. I don't know. Leave me options down in the comment. Where should I mount this thing at? Oh yeah, one more thing you guys will be pretty excited about. Uh, I got a new performance part for the truck. This is the uh, Z1 intake manifold spacer. We're putting that on here soon. Uh, it does come with the gaskets already in there. That's nice. And all your hardware for that. Um, but yeah, that'll be going on, I don't know, whenever I get some time. Probably after the Georgia trip. Um, that'll be going on and we'll see how that does. Oh yeah, and about that Georgia trip. So we're going up there. We got a camp spot for three days, Friday, Saturday, and we're coming back Sunday. It's going to be cold. Like, I think the low right now on Friday, Friday night when we get there, the first night we're going to be sleeping is going to be like, 30 degrees uh so i'm gonna bring the spot we have does have electric hookups so i'm gonna bring a heater i'll bring the buddy heater we have a heated blanket we should be fine 
Um, but when we get there on Saturday, I'm going to be doing a section of the Georgia Traverse um, since it's pretty much right running through like Blue Ridge, right? It's only a few miles away. So um, that should be really fun too. I think you guys will enjoy that. And I think that's about it. I know this video is kind of all over the place, but um, you know, it's just how my brain works. So anyway, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comments. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and we will see you guys next time.